And right here. And what's going to happen, hand, I don't want to go too far, and I, he is going to, you're going to drill a hole about the size of whatever this is, is a, about an eighth, eighth of an inch, no, three eighths. And he's going to be holding on to the flag. Here's what I'm looking for. There's the flag. His head is going to be tilted, another head's tilted this way and turned this way at the same time and push back just a little bit. Sorry. So I'm going to, from straight is going to go tilt, round towards the, towards the flag and a little bit back. So like a little bit of pride, looking up at the flag. That's what I'm aiming for. That's what I want to finish off. And so let's get started with the, the hand. And I'm sorry, what's going to happen is that we're going to be taking a chunk of this off, a little bit chunk. And I think what we want to do is a little bit of a chunk of it and maybe have it so it's sticking out a little bit like you, you've done. You know, you've done some work. Back to like it's one piece again. I need another drink here. Now, what's going to happen is if you were to put your fist, your fist should go from chin to nose. I think this might be a little too big. And then we're going to thin it because... Uh, now this way, if you turn it this way, it's going to be chin and about below the nose. So first, what I want to do is I should have had, that's a square piece. Let me get one just off, and I, I can't, it's kind of hard. Some of them are way off instead of off square. Uh, my pattern here, and you can see... There's no squareness to it, so let's just let's take make a square peg into a round peg because you know how I like to hold on to sharp edges. Oh, this is a chippy one. Take some of the saw marks off. It's one of these are one of those that are close to the close to a branch or something the way it kind of turns on you well that side cleans nicely because it depends on the the direction of the knife because then if I went this way yeah see that cleans a lot better and I want to take quite a bit of the roundness off and of course we want to take as much of the saw marks off and so let's get out of the way the plan is is I want to make it so we're like if you were to put a knife or some, whatever so it comes to an end here so it comes to an end here, but I want it to be a little bit at an angle. So it comes to an end right here. And he's got uh, big cuffs. Now I would still like to have the cuffs probably ain't, are not, is not gonna be that big. And I think the hand, like I said, the hand from here to from here, the bottom here to there, that's perfect. And from here, maybe we can sh shrink that a little bit, but here. So which way does the green go? The green goes this way. Well, the green goes, I'm sorry, this way. Therefore, I want this. And I am going to, in order for it to fit, is it, what's going to happen it's not going to be too much like this, but this is just give you the, there's the, the cuff 
or there's the, the sleeve, there's the cuff, there's the hand, and what probably will happen, maybe the cuff will be here and the sleeve will be here, because I want to make sure that every, all of that is in. The cuff is like that and the hand is in like that. So let's just get, to, I think we can get it started. Hand like this, cuff. Now if we did that cuff and sleeve, how would that look? Because remember when the cuff or the sleeve Yeah, that'll that'll work because what is going to oops, because what's going to happen is that um, I'm probably I'm gonna I'm gonna do this hand and then I'll just simply take and cut. It's gonna cut like this, so we'll still have part of the sleeve as well. Yeah, and the hand is because we got when you have this, it's gonna sleeve is here, so you still got. Uh, two thirds and one third, and it's almost like we got here. Well, half to here, one third. Yeah. So let's start in with get the chisel V tool. And again, um, hand. No, what's going to happen is that because uh, you got the, the sleeve is wider and then the cuffs and then the hand. So it's so all we're going to do. Might as well do the sleeve first. Sleeve to cuff first. Pardon me. Like that, like that. It will still be round in it as we go. I just want to get the feel like. You know the feel as far as the the wrist and the, the size and I'll take some more of this off. And oh, by the way, I forgot. <laughs> this is a one inch. Oh, I got my ruler over there. I got uh, as a matter of fact. The, Hopefully the pattern will have it. It just occurred to me, I just uploaded a pattern and I forgot to put the numbers on it. As far as size. Okay, Maybe just a little bit. So, so I'll, keep, I'll keep a little bit of that so I don't remember. Okay. Where are you? Right here. Okay, now the hand is still wider, so we'll just, the wrist is the narrow part. So we're coming in like this. Like this. Now, like I said that the whole We want the hole, so in other words, see the uh, um, the green is this way, 
So we want the hole here. Excuse me, and even though his hand is going to be, it's going to be relatively, when we drill a hole, it'll be straight straight down. We have to go at an angle that much. Um, so we want, like I said, I want to thin this a little bit. Thinner, keep the roundness. Saw marks out of there. Keep some of the roundness. Saw marks out of there. Like I said, this is a fast paced video, We're trying to get as much as we can in. So we won't be. Okay, like I said, yeah, this is going to be thinner. Oh, and uh, I can't stand that. Table making all that squeaky noise. You know what I did that was wrong? Looks like we're gonna have to have the, yeah, we're gonna have to have it in the other direction. <laughs> it's a good thing I cut off that we didn't drill. Yeah, this way is supposed to be the widest, which means the hole is gonna go in here. Uh! I guess maybe I'm kind of racing this a little bit. Maybe I should slow down and I don't even got time to slow it down. And maybe that's what I should do is take kind of a break before I move on. Well, no, I'll just kind of get started a little bit and then I'll take a break. A little bit of roundness here. And okay, now since. The hole is going to go in here. We're going to drill the hole. You know, I think the thing is, what we're going to do is what I always do. I drill the hole first, and then I shape around it. Now it's going to be, like I said, with the wrist, with the cuff scheme here, probably just a little to the top there. And then that's what I'm going to do. Two things. I'm going to drill and just take a little break. I think I'm rushing and then I'll end up goofing it up, but I'll be back. Okay, change of plan. Let me zoom out a piece here. Is that it occurred to me as I was downstairs, I put the hole in. But it occurred to me it has to the hand has to be on this side. I drilled two a second hole there because I you don't need two holes, it just I got off by a little bit. Like I said, the pattern will will show you the right right spot. Any hoot nanny is that it just occurred to me the first plan was like this. Uh hole on there, Baba Louie. Because the arm is going to come down, and it's going to go down this way. And it, it, the only way that it was to come down and come up, it would have to be like this, or even right on. Practically right on his chinny chin chin there. And that isn't going to work. And, and of course the flag would be going out this way. Speaking to which. The flag would be going out this way. It would be going the right. It would be kind of, it would probably be all right if you want to do that. Except you'd have to get it pretty darn far down. Okay, I need two hands to handle this guy here. 
and to turn and look at the flag and turn and I don't know that's not not gonna work but flip it over come down here so you got a hole here and I use a, uh, a one quarter inch dowel and so I'm glad I was able to think this thing through a little more And let me put it on the table for it to be like this on the table because I want it to be so be even with oh don't turn your back on me so then he would be more like turning towards the flag a little bit now the flag itself is bent wrong because this is one of those Flags that have a, um, it's made out of a, yeah, is that better? I would prefer it the other way, I have to bend it. it, it it's a material that you can, you can bend. I'll bend it later. So it's just not in his face. <laughs> now, what I also have, it's an old one, and it's, oh, it's really falling apart. I tried to fix it. And... It's a very clothy flag. Oh man, this is really. Now the clothy flag, I would like that better because it's more, honestly, more realistic. I tried to fix it, put a little bit of, of uh, super glue there and that didn't hold. And on top of all of that, I do have, I, I found at a garage sale, is a flag like this, but it had the 13 stars and stripes and I thought that'd be perfect. Uh, the problem is, is I have no idea where I put that blasted thing. I had looked everywhere from everywhere to everywhere and I can't find it. Every time I look for a height, I, mean, I put it in a place where it, so I won't lose it. That's where it is. <laughs> and a lot of times, um, uh, you know, I, I would think, you know, where would I put it? And look at all the places that it should be. Anyways, so that's what I did is uh, ignore this hole and, and this is the, the, the hole you want. Or if you choose, where is it? Okay, because it's coming down. Uh -oh. Because the arm comes down and there's the elbow. Or if you want to do it where the elbow comes down and over and there's the arm like this, if you want. But I know the first one, I, what I showed you at first was not right. So we got, I, I am relatively done with this other than I might smooth just a little bit because what's gonna happen is, is when you got an, an arm the arm against the fabric, you know, the arm will win. So the fabric will flatten just a little bit, just minor adjustments. And I want it as minor as can be because when you have this and you look at it at different angles, where's, well, that's about the best I can do with the light here. If I could pull back a little bit with the light so you can see in there. You know, so, so like, you know, so you can still keep some of the detail instead of it just simply being kind of round. So, um, so the, the bust is relatively done. Got the hole in the, in the quarter inch peg. I did come back and I did take some, uh, take my little, Detailing, cleaning up nice, and probably even some more there. There's a happen to notice that. Well, all right, he's got a he's got a scar there. Uh, I did get the nostrils in, and what you do is you always start with the outside, just a chip, this way, and when you carve this way, what happens? It starts to break naturally right here, and so all you actually need is two cuts, and it'll, and it should come out provided you get the two cuts right. 
outside than inside. And if you want to round it, um, I didn't particularly round the nostrils. It's just enough to give the, the hole. There's a hole there. Um, and that's what I did. I just I cleaned up uh, everything. Or hopefully paint will hide a lot of stuff that I didn't get to clean up or couldn't clean up and did as much as I can to clean this out. Anywho, you sit there and, oh, sorry. Anyways, let's get to working on the arm. Now this is going to be the right hand. Oh, don't mind, ooh, don't mind my, uh, I had a sunburn and it's not sorry, it's starting to come loose there. It's like it's the monster. This is the monster wood carving video. Okay, so what I did start as, I did show you, I, I got the, the sleeve. And clean. Just cleaning up a little bit here with a little bit of roundness, but remember it's more flatter this way, but keep it round. I was noticing, uh, this is, this has been, um, what's been going on Today is my first video of the Santa carving the birds, and I've been noticing that I've been doing a lot of uh, 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 there lately. And I just remember we got a maple tree outside that's just uh, really pollinating right now. I don't particularly have hay fever, but. But anyways, continuing on the arm and the sleeve. Now, according to the picture, the the I want you picture poster, the sleeve comes down here. Now, the the uh, the thing is, is that. No, the sleeve comes down here, pardon me. It's on the inside, or underneath, and the button is on the inside, but uh, I think we could probably still put a button in there. So... And it does like this. And it does like this. Away. That thing is just good. Here, let me cut that thing off. That's starting to pester me. It's that little. Boy, this anti cut. Materials really means it, doesn't it? Okay, so we got the separation of the sleeve like that, and it is a little bit like again, it's a little bit of a concave, even though this is going to be kind of basically underneath. So you can probably forego this if you wish, but I'm gonna um, have my chisel here to make this button. Oh, that's not the right chisel. 
That's a big button. There we go. That's for the normal button here. I want to always start on the inside like this. I'm doing the same thing, coming around, coming around. Coming round. Oops, I lost it. It's right here. Coming round. And do you want to know something? I want to do. So I'm going to do something here that I neglected to do on the on the vest here. First, I want to clean that button, round the button, take the pencil marks off. And then I want to, like I said, I want to kind of concave this a little bit here. And cave this a bit. And where's my brush? Now the thing that I did neglect to show you on the vest. Well, as soon as I get this cleaned here. Is going to do a little bit of actually no wide some material stretch marks here same here to show a little bit of the stretchness whatever you call it. <laughs> of course, it depends on how this arm is going to be. <laughs> if I can get in there. So moving right along, where are you? You're right there. While we're here, I want to add a little bit of undercut. So it does show kind of the separation of the, the shirt and the coat. Now the coat may or may not have a button. And I, again, when I look at the the poster, Uncle Sam, he, he does not, I cannot see it, but there was this uh, cartoon version of Uncle Sam and they put it in there. Now what's going to happen is that when I put this arm in, I'm going to be shortening it quite a bit. But I still want to go through the process of showing that when you do a an arm, you like to get this as much undercut as you can. Oops. So as to kind of get some shadow in there to separate the difference between the coat and the shirt. I'll just add just a, just a tiny bit of a of a curve here, kind of concaveness or roundness. Pardon me. Oops. Pencil. 
pencil mark out of there. Gonna make it less square. But you can probably add a couple of dents in there, but like I said, a lot of that coat is gonna disappear. So I don't have too much. Oh there no, there's a lot of bit of no, what am I talking about? I was thinking about the other way. Oops. So there's going to be quite a bit of, there is going to be quite a bit of coat in there. The other way I had it, there was not going to be. That's what I'm still thinking on that. Let's... Like I said, we had a change of plan since yesterday. And then you could put some, I want to say some, oh, that's getting kind of chippy here. That's supposed to be more flat here. Kind of a little chippy part there, but We'll work through it now. What I'd like to do is put a little bit of, again, some more concaveness to this so the, the sleeve kind of flanges out a little bit. And it adds a little extra character. put some extra dents in it. There, I like that nice concaveness in there. Now we could put in a button. Oh, I'm choosing not to really. And if it can, oh sorry, you're looking at my Again, that's the monster arm there. So no, we won't need to have a button in there. We cut most of that button off the coat. Anyways. Okay, we want to do the same thing. Separate the hand from the shirt. It is summer... Tanager o'clock. You can hear in the background. Yeah, like I said, nice undercut. Watch, watch the hand. There we go. That's a nice separation of hand and coat. Shirt, pardon me. Okay, now finally getting to the hand. Now the hand, better make sure we know what we're doing here. There we go, the hand. It's this way, because we want the, the hole down, therefore it's going to come around. We got this part. And we want it round this way. Now the hand is going to a little bit of a concave from that first knuckle just a little bit because it's meeting with the meeting with the uh, wrist there so getting the first 
things in and coming down is almost on top. So it's like almost half down. Almost. Oops. And then it comes in. Carefully don't get into that hole. Do a little bit of clean here and round. We don't want any straight edges. And then we want to like sit around this way. And the saw marks. I think I might have to come back and reshape some things here. Something's not looking right. Down. Yeah, I got this part. Oh, I see. There we go. That's better. Okay, now. I think we got the shape, maybe a little more rounding here and there. We can get the hand in, we can get the fingers in, pardon me. The hand is, in. we're working on the hand. A little bit of concaveness this way. Okay, let's get the fingers in. All right, now since we don't, we only want the four fingers because the thumb is in here. He's holding, oops, pay attention. So the thumb is here. So this is his right hand. So the thumb. Now the way I have it is that the thumb will come down. Over two fingers. Like that. Okay, with that in mind, here we go with the fingers. Start with the middle. And then if you want to take a ruler or a divider to make that even, you can. And then what happens is that it's going to scrunch in here. And this is all going to be wrist. We'll get it. I'll show you that later here. But be tool. Make sure we are correct. Still on the right side of things here. Still on the sunny side of life here. I like to start, mostly I like to start in the center. Sometimes I don't turn in the center because I don't pay attention. But when you start in the center, then you can really see how far off. And I didn't because I've already committed when I started here. Now I'm going to cut over here. Now I'm going to cut the thumb in. Now the thumb is going to be on top. If I could do this, I forgot to pencil this in. This is going to kind of come around like this. Yeah. I mean, it's still going to go down. But let's, while we got the chisel, let's take some of this off. Not all of it. 
Let's take the knife. Okay, see I'm really relatively okay for now. But I want to take this off. What happens is we got this. Now when you come down here, this is deep. Deeper. Oops, careful. Stop cut. But when you get close to the the sort of the uh, drumstick of the of the thumb. It's the part where the cats love to just grab hold of right there, that really meaty. Now I'm going to start bending this a little bit. Now that we're seeing how it works. Now, I want to bring this out. I think I t took too much on the ring finger and gave it to the middle finger, or to the pinky, which we don't want. And it's still going in because we want still want the plane when we do the hole here we still want the plane of the hand so that 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 opening will follow the fingers Like I said, this is going to be kind of deep here. But as we get closer to the thumb, we want to make sure we still have that meaty part, the drumstick of the thumb, as it were. interesting all of this and all of this detail and it's going to be buried but I'll show you a little bit on doing the hand and get out of there I want to separate between the fingertips And the thumb will be covering. I always hate that, the, the sound of scrape when you try to cut and it slips and it scrapes. Yeah, this would be a good uh, time to practice carving the hands because. Um, even though if you goof up, all of this is going to be buried, mostly buried. If somebody were to pick up the carving and give it a look. Now, I'm going to bend this down because I didn't leave too much for the index, did I? There we go. Get some of the index in there. Like I said, that's going to be buried. Now here, like I said, the thumb is the highest of this point here. Shape the thumb a little bit. Round the thumb, shape it. 
I did not leave much for that middle finger, or for that ring, that uh, index finger. <sighs> Which is actually shorter than the middle finger there. Okay, now we're getting started. Same thing here, we want to follow. The hole is going to follow the planes of the hand. And now a little more, just a little more thumb here. A little more for the thumb. There we go. Still a little too, too much on the thumb. But just a hint to bring the thumb out. Ah. And rounding the thumb. 